Magna Paratum Gesta, Excellence Through Knowledge. For the past 60 years, the University of Technology Jamaica has been focused on living up to its motto, enabling the national institution to contribute significantly to education, training and economic development on the island. Now, with efforts firmly set on making UTEC a globally recognized name, Stakeholders are pressing ahead with improvements necessary to position the Tech Institute for greatness. For almost two years, this campus was a construction site. The trucks, the workers, the noise. There are times when there were complaints that exam is going on and the jackhammers are disturbing class at the shutdown construction. Challenges were many. And we who owe a debt of gratitude to our students and our faculty and our visitors for the tolerated situation led like this for almost a year during construction. And with the equipment packed up and the dust clouds cleared, they all agree that the temporary challenges faced were worth it. A new school of hospitality and tourism management, a shared facilities unit outfitted with 20 smart classrooms and three state-of-the-art lecture theatres, upgraded laboratories and sanitary amenities, and a new amphitheater are all part of an expansion and enhancement project that has transformed the campus, boosting student enrollment in the process. We are in a period of consolidation at the University of Technology, which means that we are doing several things and we are doing most of them very, very well but we want to ensure that we do everything to a high level of perfection. And so this facility provides us with important infrastructural arrangements that can enhance education throughout UTEC. It's an investment that supports Jamaica's National Development Plan, Vision 2030, with goals of creating a highly skilled professional workforce. And in keeping with its view that investment in education is critical to sustainable development within its borrowing member countries, the Caribbean Development Bank joined in assisting Jamaica with realizing this vision by investing 26 million US dollars in UTEX enhancement and expansion. At the CDB, we remain unwavering in our commitment to the reduction of poverty across our region. And we are firm in the belief that one of the primary vehicles through which this will be achieved is in the education sector. And for this to happen, we will continue to work with our board member countries to upgrade and enhance educational infrastructure and improve instructional effectiveness to all of our students within the Caribbean. From just over 50 students and only four programs offered when UTEC's doors first opened, an enrollment student body of more than 12,000 per academic year now chooses from over 100 programs at certificate, diploma and degree levels. UTEC's growth over the past six decades has indeed been remarkable. But the college has eyes set on a new and impressive target becoming the region's premier institution for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, otherwise known as STEM. President Vassiani believes the enhancement of UTEC's physical infrastructure will attract the additional foreign students needed to reach this target. With this in mind, UTEC is pushing forward with a commitment to quality research and excellent teaching and the new facilities are a big step in the process. It's a huge step, not just a big step. It's a huge step for UTEC because 
you know, this is where we really need to go in developing state-of-the-art facilities so that the teaching learning experience can be enhanced and so we can get the kind of output we want from our students and we can establish ourselves as a world-class university. Also on the agenda, contributions to sustainable development and renewable energy in the Caribbean through research conducted in the college's new waste management center. It's composed by three labs, one for environmental engineering, one for microbiology and biotechnology, and the third is a specialized lab. This facility will be providing um, for our students and the academy staff and other stakeholders um, a venue to continue researching and creating innovative approach to solve some of the main problems that Jamaica and the region is encountering in the area of water, wastewater, and biomass research. Of course, the measure of UTEC's success rests with its students, the leaders of tomorrow, those who will transform the knowledge gained today into excellence throughout the region tomorrow. So far, I like the facilities, especially the lecture theatres. They give a more modern feel to the learning experience. I'm happy that UTEC has done this because I think compared to other classes, it's state of the art. I'm glad I have my classes over here. I'm just coming out of an exam, you know, so I was pretty much comfortable in the exam. Didn't have any problem or whatever, so I think it's a very good facility. And as they get down to the business of work, what would the students and faculty say to the stakeholders who made this transformation possible? We would say thank you, thank you, thank you. It will be placed um, to very good use. You're now assisting in national development and regional development by the provision of the funds for this building. And as I say thank you, I wish that you would partner with the university once more so, so that we can develop further facilities to be used by staff and students. Mm -hmm.